a Shalom Akyam, Wa Akwa, of the elect, of the nation of Israel, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raha Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders that great millstone, the men that taught me the 100% truth according to the Holy Scriptures, and Shalom to the select foreigners who are scattered amongst the heathen in these last days. In these last days, the so called Negroes, the so called Hispanics, and the so called Native Americans do make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And a real quick lesson going into the Apocrypha, which the Apocrypha simply means the hidden writings. When you can read the account of the Apocrypha in the book of 2nd Ezra, the uh, matter of fact, let me get that 2nd Ezra, the 12th chapter, goes into the Apocrypha. Okay, which the word apocrypha again means hidden writings. That's where you get the word crypto. Just like Esau Edom has his uh, cryptocurrency, which means uh, hidden funds or hidden money. So when you go into the book of 2nd Ezra, the 12th chapter, 2nd Ezra was given, you know, the, the secrets. Okay, the secrets of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai to keep to himself. And after. Esther's was given the uh, the secrets to keep to himself, which are the uh, secrets of prophecy. He was uh, later commanded to uh, teach the hidden writings to the wise, okay, the wise man of the nation of Israel. So real quick, this is Second Esther's twelve, and this is Second Esther's twelve and and thirty five. This is the dream that thou sawest. And these are the interpretations. Thou only has been meet to know this secret of the highest. Therefore, write. I'll read that one more time. Second Esther 12 and 37. Therefore, write all these things, which are the prophecies. And so long you for the, uh, the low quality image. Okay, I you know I just got a, it's a new phone. So it's not the best phone out there. It's not, you know, the uh, the modern day iPhones, you know, 13 Max or the modern day Android, you know, that you're able to see, you know, a, a great image. Okay, nah, this is actually, uh, you know, it's a, it's a decent phone. Okay, enough to make, you know, edifying videos in these last days. All right, this is Second Ezra 12 and 36. Thou only has been meet to know this secret of Yahweh. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them see that therefore write all these things which are the prophecies and okay i'll read it again second ezra 12 and 37 therefore write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them See, to hide something means to keep secret. And that's where you get, okay, the Apocrypha. It says, 38, and teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts, and the heart is your mind. So it's not your literal heart, okay, that, you know, it, it beats, you know, about, uh, you know, 60 to 70 times per minute, okay, at, at a natural rest. But that's your your heart, your mind, your spirit, right? La'ab, right? In the Hebrew, 2nd Ezra 12 and 38. And teach them to the wise of the people whose minds thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. See that? So the Apocrypha in these last days are only given to the servants of prophets who are those wise men who were given the secrets of the scriptures. And after those men, okay, have, you know, dig digested, you know, eaten and digested the uh, scriptures, now they're able to uh, edify the nation, okay, the elect of the nation of Israel. And real quick, okay, the, the whole center point of this lesson, you know, yesterday I had a uh, dialogue with one of uh, one of the uh, Akim out here in, in our camp in SD in San Diego. And we were going into the book of Sirach, or also known as Ecclesiasticus, the 17th chapter. 
and we spoke about how, you know, the natural man, the natural man in this, in this earth, you know, we're over, a, what is it, over 7 billion people. I believe we're now 8 billion people on this earth, okay, and I believe the ratio between uh, men and women is uh, uh, 3 to 1. I believe there's, uh, you know, for every, for every man, you know, there's, there's three women out there, if I'm not mistaken, but that's one of the uh, ratios that that Esau has given according to his uh, stati uh, statistics, you see? But nevertheless, man, you know, out of all these men that Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai has, you know, created, whether it's a heathen, you know, whether it's a Moabite, you know, an Ammonite, you know, an Edomite, or even our own people, Israelites, okay, you know, every uh, so-called human being has been given the, uh, you know, the, the privilege, okay, because, you know, a privilege means, you know, something or a benefit that Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai has, you know, granted, you know, every, uh, every human with uh, five senses, you know, and those five senses are, you know, uh, to see, you know, to smell, to touch, uh, to taste, and to hear. Okay, those are the five senses, if I'm not mistaken, okay? And it tells you that in Cyrex 17. So when I was having a conversation in uh, Cyrex 17 with, with a brother, okay, we went in depth into Cyrex 17 and 5, how, you know, the natural man has five senses, but a servant, okay, which a servant is a, is a prophet, when you read Amos 3 and 7 and Daniel, the second chapter, okay, the servants, the prophets, we're actually given seven senses, okay, uh, seven operations. So besides, you know, you know, touching, you know, hearing, you know, smelling, seeing, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai were given uh, seven operations, and the number seven means completion. So what I want to do real quick is go into Sirach 17 and 1. It says, the Lord, and who's the Lord? The Lord is Yahweh created or generated man of the earth and turned him into it again. Verse 2, he gave them few days and a short time and power also over the things therein. Verse 3, he endued them with strength by themselves and made them according to his image and put the fear of man upon all flesh and gave him dominion over beasts and fowls, yeah, and this goes into Adam, okay, Adam, he was the, uh, the first, okay, uh, so-called human being, okay, to receive, you know, the, uh, the seven operations, and we understand that Adam, you know, according to the prophecies, according to the dark sayings, the parables, you know, Adam is Yahweh Shai, okay, in the reincarnation, so when you go into verse, verse 5, it says, they, received right and who's the day the day that's going into the sons of adam you know after uh adam had a uh, abel and abel was uh slain by by a wicked king okay which Cain gave you know wicked sacrifices when you read genesis the fifth chapter you know after uh abel you had who you had seth okay matter of fact uh give me a second let me see if i can get the account okay Let's get the understanding of that real quick. You know, Genesis, the uh, fifth the fifth chapter, you know, the uh, generations of uh, Adam. Okay, Genesis 5. And through uh, Adam, you know, okay, again, you have Seth. This is uh, Genesis 5 and 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. And that day that God created man. And the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them. And blessed them and called their name Adam. And the day when they were created. Yeah, and that backs up Sirach 17. And one, Yahweh created a man of the earth and turned him into it again. Go back to verse 3. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness. And after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. 
and all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Verse 6, and Seth lived 100 years and, and 5 years and begot Enos. And Seth lived after he begot Enos 807 years and begot sons and daughters. And Enos lived 90 years and begot, and begot Canaan. Okay, and after Canaan, you know, you read the uh, generations of the sons of God. Okay, down to 18. And Jared lived 100 years, 160 and 2 years, and begot Enoch. Okay, and through Enoch, you had who? Methuselah. Methuselah, you had, okay, it says, after Methuselah, you had Lamech. After Lamech, uh, we had our forefather Noah. And these are the sons of God, man. Okay, Noah had, you know, five sons. It's a lot, three sons, which is uh, Shem, Japheth, and Ham. Okay, these are the sons of God, man. So the sons of God, when you go back to the right 17, they were given five operations, but since they were, you know, the uh, the special people of Yahweh about Shemel Shai, it says what? Uh, Sirach 17 and 5, they received the use of the five operations of the Lord. And in the sixth, yeah, if brothers ever seen the movie, okay, uh, The Sixth Sense with, uh, what's his name? It's not, uh, it's not Adam Sandler. Uh, Nicholas Cage, Bruce Willis, okay, you have, uh, you know, a, a very uh, famous actor by the name of Bruce Willis, about, uh, I believe it was like a 20, 20 year old movie, okay, 20 years ago, okay, give or take, he made a movie called The Sixth Sense, and I believe his son, okay, his son, he was able to have six operations, you know, besides, you know, uh, hearing, you know, you know, smelling, you know, touch, to, to see for on, uh, so on and so forth, his his son was given the sixth sense, and that sixth sense was he was able to uh, uh perceive, comprehend, okay, uh, the good and the evil. He was able to see apparition apparitions and uh, the spiritual realm. That's an example of giving an, a gift, a gift of the uh of that extra operation. But that's the sixth sense. Well, guess what? The prophets of Yahweh Bashmel Shai was given seven senses. Okay, and we're going to get that said, right, 17 and 5. They received the use of the five operations of the Lord, and in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding. Yeah, and understanding as well, the understanding of good and evil. Okay, it tells you that in Job 28, 28. Okay, unto men he saith, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil. It's understanding. So they were, in, in order for a prophet to understand wisdom, he has to depart from evil. Examples of evil are everything that's contrary, okay, to the precepts, to the laws of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. So going back to Sirach 17 and 5, they received, okay, again, the day that's the prophets, the prophets have received the use of the five operations of the Lord. And in the sixth place, right, the sixth sense, he gave them understanding. And in the seventh, speech. Okay, and through that speech, when you read the understanding, is the uh, the oracles. Okay, the oracles of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. That's his truth, man. Okay, so the sixth sense, going down to the seventh sense, that's the truth. Okay, and interpreter of the cognitation thereof. Which is what? Which is wisdom, man. Wisdom, uh, knowledge, understanding. Okay, is they are all ingredients to be able to, uh, you know, break down or decipher the blueprint of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai in these last days. Counsel and a tongue, and eyes, ears, and a heart gave he them to understand. With awe he filled them with the knowledge of understanding. And show them good and evil. See that? So Yahweh Bashmel Shai has given, you know, the prophets seven senses. Okay. And those extra two senses, again, it tells you that in verse five, he gave them the understanding. So to, to be able to understand, you know, the uh, the scriptures, okay, that's a, an example of a sense, an operation. And in the seventh speech, so 
So when you understand wisdom, you're going to what have that speech, okay, of of a uh, of prophecy, an interpreter of cognition thereof, counsel and a tongue, and eyes, ears, and a heart. Okay, he gum to understand. See that? So amen. A hey, just a, a quick lesson. You know, the prophets of Yahweh Bash Mel Shaiman, hey, we have uh, seven operations, man. And that's the actual spiritual powers. Because the, the natural man that walks to and fro here on earth, they only have five senses. Okay, they weren't gifted, okay, with, with the sixth sense or even the seventh sense. Okay, the seven operations to be able to, you know, uh, walk and be guided, okay, via prophecy, which... You know, prophecy, that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai pursuing to Apocalypse, the uh, 19th chapter and the 10th verse, man. Hey, with that, you know, just a quick, you know, lesson, man, going into how the prophets have, you know, seven, uh, you know, seven operations. Okay, with that, I want to say Shalom.